Hey, here's a shocker. I grew up in the 80s and never watched a single episode of He-Man. I was more into Ghostbusters, the Ninja Turtles, and uh, some Thundercats on the side. My only experience with this franchise is when my friends would get drunk, uh, then fart, and then tell everyone in the room to smell the gaseous stench of Skeletor! <laughs> they did that voice, too. I, I, I'm assuming that's relevant. Even so, my excitement when I saw this freaking thing was like a 9 out of 10. A 10 is reserved for Bratwurst and Ocarina of Time and Emma Watson. But if you did watch He-Man growing up, well, your excitement must be off the freaking charts. And it should be, god damn it, because it's He-Man, the strongest game in the universe. Smell the gaseous stench of Skeletor! Come on, that's all I got. Just released to the App Store, He-Man comes from Glitchsoft, the same people who did the iOS Contra clone, Star Marine Infinite Ammo. Now, I was a big fan of that game conceptually, but I didn't think it played all that well on the iPhone. Just didn't have the degree of control a game like that needs. And, of course, much of that is due to the platform, but this time around, they freaking nailed it. He-Man, the strongest game in the universe, is a side-scrolling beat-em-up. Another game in what I've come to call the modern retro movement. So the basic idea here is take a game like Shank, and streamline it a bit for iOS, and slap on an awesome license. In this case, freaking He-Man. And it works beautifully. A part of the reason for that is a game like this doesn't quite require the precision of a game like Star Marine, but also the controls are just smarter. This time around, there are no tiny virtual buttons to lose track of. Instead, the screen is basically divided into two. Drag your finger on the left to walk, uh, tap on the right to shoot. Simple, smart, really effective. And not only does it control well, but uh, the game itself is just awesome. He-Man travels through 27 levels scattered across seven gorgeous worlds, each one with its own look. It's colorful, sprites are really detailed, and you know, beyond its style, the game also has a sense of humor. Skeletor even makes fun of He-Man for his poor animation. You know, so, so I assume he's the villain then. <laughs> This is the easiest recommendation I've made all week. Whether you're into retro games, fun beat-em-ups, slick iOS games, or of course He-Man, this is a game you should check out immediately. Like a real man, it's He-Man for the iPhone.